In this Shoe Last Maker update, I'm going to show you the new cowboy boot Shoe Last, as well as the features and settings that have made this shape possible. So here's the Shoe Last. When you look from uh, this view, it doesn't look all that different from other Shoe Last, but uh, as you start to look from the side view, here's where you can see what really distinguishes the cowboy boot Shoe Last from other more common types of Shoe Last, and it's the uh, it's very flat and the wedge angle. And this has to do with the uh, construction method used in cowboy boots. Um, and because it's so flat, uh, the wedge angle is so close to horizontal, despite the uh, significant amount of heel height, also it uh, pushes up the dorsal profile here. And uh, so this shape wouldn't have been previously uh, possible in older versions of Shoe Last Maker, but uh, mainly because uh, the wedge angle was uh, directly coupled with the heel height. Uh, but now, in the options form, uh, you're able to set the uh, some in the automation options section. There is an option for manual wedge angles. So essentially, you're turning off that automation there. And so, if that's checked, then when you edit the uh, the profile, you're able to see uh, you have the here's the heel height 44, and with the wedge angle of three and we could adjust that if we wanted to change it to make it even flatter in this region or if you could increase it if you're working on a last that uh, has, requires more common uh, relationship there in uh, which case you'd actually probably just turn that manual option off in the options so that's just uh, we'll end edit there get back to the 3d view here now because that uh, we've done this uh, adjusted the wedge angle down to zero, it uh, changes the relationship what happens in the, the waist area. And uh, once again, previously it was this automation that was happening uh, in the earlier versions was that uh, the waist girth would essentially be in a kind of interpolation of the instep girth and the ball girth. And uh, it could be adjusted also by uh, a few different parameters and you could see what the girth was, but you couldn't actually control it. And, a lot of cases that uh, is okay, but uh, in this particular case, it's we need to have that exact control of what the waist girth is. So in the options, we have the option for manual waist girth control. So uh, now we can actually go in and have a look at the waist girth curve. And you can see waist girth 249. If we want to change that, we can uh, just click that and, and uh, set whatever we want there. And one more uh, new manual control that uh, wasn't previously available that's required to get this very unique cowboy boot shoe last shape is the last top length. Previously, it was determined you'd set the angle in the dorsal profile, and that would, um, and the curve would be extended to the last top cutting plane here, and that would determine the last top length. But uh, it's uh, in this particular shoe last, you really need to control that exact length. So here it is in the options manual last top length. And now when we edit that curve, the, the profile again, uh, just hit update once this uh, Rhino's having a bit of an issue uh, with that uh, dimensions being out of plane. And uh, you can see 98, and we can change that to whatever we want. Let's do, for example, go up to 103, update, and you can see that it's increased the last top length exactly as you'd want it. Go back to what we were and edit. Another difference for the in this shoe last that you might have noticed is that the, the toe has been chopped off. Uh, that's uh, if you look at a lot of cowboy boots, uh, you've got that very sharp drop off at the end of the shoe. Uh, that uh, can be achieved with this kind of shoe last where it's essentially just a chopped off uh, toe. And so uh, once again, in the options form here, in the build options, you can choose to chop the toe. And when you do that, uh, you're able to control the characteristics of the chop from the profile view. You've got the chop distance is 19 millimeters, and you've got the chop toe angle at 32 degrees as measured from the, uh, the toe spring there. And so we could adjust that, and you would change the position of the chop and it probably did best to make those kind of adjustments while showing surfaces when updating, which is an option in the options form. And uh, so if you were to save this shoe last and use it as a template, uh, 
uh, for a new shoe last is graded to another size, um, that all the, those options would be uh, graded essentially and put onto the, the new shoe last. And the final new feature that was required to get this classic cowboy boot shoe last shape uh, was independent medial and lateral uh, bottom profile blending curve control. So what I mean by that, if we look at the, the, um, the profile, you have the, the heel seat region and then uh, moving forward from the ball. And those are parametrically controlled uh, with angular and linear dimensions. Uh, but the, the region in between is this blending shape curve, uh, and the parameters for this are the 67.5 and 35 here, and you can adjust those to change that shape. Um, but to get the, the really classic cowboy boot shoe last, this uh, wasn't enough. It needed independent uh, control, not just centrally, but also on the medial and lateral. So it's something most of the time you can just ignore and just focus on this, uh, these central blending curves. But uh, now if you need a little more control, you can also choose the bottom last bottom edge and then uh, when you're editing, make sure you're viewing from either lateral or medial, depending on what you're trying to, which side you want to work on. And now you have these additional uh, blending curve parameters, uh, which are specific. Right now, these are for the lateral because we edited from the lateral side. It was mainly necessary on the medial side to get this uh, last bottom edge dropping sooner than it does centrally. Of course, the, the parametric system still makes sure you uh, get uh, convexity all the way across the last bottom surface from the front to the back. And one last update I will mention. It doesn't have anything to do uh, with cowboy boot shoe lasts, but rather it's just a nice general update. And that has to do with the, the hood shape. Um, previously, you might have noticed uh, these uh, curves for the heel and the arch area were extended up and those had to be controlled to in order to get um, a nice shape over the top here uh, in the cone area um, but in the latest version there is the option to automate all of that and uh, you can access it from the options form and it's called auto hood design I've just been calling that the, the hood area this is the cone and that would be the hood uh, and the reason is just because of the surfacing technique if you explode the shoe last and you rebuild this surface with uh, just stick with the same number of control points here and don't retrim it you can see what uh, the one talking about when I say the hood this is a the surface has to have four sides and it's just my approach to uh, surfacing the shoe last so we'll undo that get it back to the joint surface and so now it's just nice to not have to control those anymore it's just the, the height of them and the parameters of them are automatically set in order to get a smooth transition over the top of the cone and such that it uh, follows the last top edge as closely as possible. So the cowboy boot shoe last is quite a bit different than more common uh, styles of shoe lasts, but yet uh, this parametric system is still able to uh, achieve it, so demonstrating the robustness of the approach. And uh, so that's all for this update. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.